And welcome back. You know, I receive a lot of feedback from our Watchmen viewers on YouTube and social media, and everyone seems to agree on one thing. They all love biblical history and archaeology. Thankfully, so do I. One of the best parts of my job is getting to walk in the ancient and legendary places that you read about in your Bible. There is nothing like it. Here's the top Watchmen Biblical Archaeology stories for 2019. Kidron Valley, also known as Valley of Jehoshaphat, also known as King's Valley, when pilgrims come into Jerusalem and see this magnificent, well-built yeah, yeah. monument over here, automatically they will connect it to Absalom. It must be Absalom's pillar, as the well, Bible says. So under Rome, this place was rocking. It was thriving. It was part of the Decapolis. It was a league of 10 cities that were pagan in nature and supported by the Romans. And it was already uh, a treaty that was inactive in the days of Jesus. The New okay. Testament mentions Jesus living in the Galilee, but operating also in the Decapolis. This wall is directly adjacent to the Western wall of the Temple Mount. And one of the great mysteries for generations has been what happened to the Ark of the Covenant. The question is, when was it lost? And for that story, we have to go back some 2,700 years to the time of the biblical King Hezekiah. The prophet Isaiah. That's right, prophet Isaiah. First temple, Solomon's temple. There you go. This becomes the homestead. This is where Isaac comes back to, Jacob comes back to here for, for a while. Uh, but the homestead in the sense of, this is, this is the area where he pitched his tent. He doesn't build a house. He is a nomad within his land. The patriarch Abraham. Elliot, where we're standing right now, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob lived here. Yes, here in, wow. this, in this area. Inscription says, Le Netan Melech, Eved HaMelech, to Netan Melech, or actually belonging to Netan Melech, the servant of the king. Now, tell us who he was. Okay, so first by his title, the servant of the king, you can understand that this is an official, this is a person of high rank, someone who worked in the uh, uh, king court. Yeah, so a high-ranking government official yeah. at that Servant time. of the king is a title, not of a servant, but an official yeah. of the king. And may I hold it, this, by the of way? Of course. Thank you, my Thank friend. You. And please continue as I just admire this incredible archaeological find, 2,600 years old. This was the centerpiece, this region of the ministry of Jesus. We're just a short walk right now from Capernaum, which was known as the town of Jesus, scene of many of his major miracles. And as I see the pilgrims walk through, they visit all these great sites from Nazareth to Cana to Capernaum and beyond. They take out the torches and they light them up and boom, boom, they see all of this. Look at this Danny, size. this is, let me gather myself and take this all in for a second. It's got a lot of evidence of quarrying activity. This was definitely a quarry. Yeah. And it's, in fact, it's the biggest man-made cave in all of Israel. Incredible. It looks like a kind of a mysterious place, but the entrance is right on the street. Yeah. Like you said. This is the rim of a bowl. This is the actual rim of a bowl. And you can see the typical wheel burnishing, typical of the 8th century BCE, time of King Hezekiah and Prophet Isaiah. So this is from the first temple period. 2,700 years 2700 ago? 2,700 years ago. And not only is it for the, from the first temple period, this could have been in the actual temple. So first temple period and perhaps from the first temple itself. You gotta let me hold that. So that's mind boggling. That is mind boggling. Wow, this is quite possibly from Solomon's temple. Pretty much a probability, very likely, that Jesus and his disciples walked up these steps where we're sitting right now. Set the scene for us, where are we? Well, we're on the southern stairs to, of, the, of the Temple Mount. Behind us was the temple. The gates are Hulda gates here, the eastern gate, over there the western gate. And until today, even the tunnels that led the people to the, to the temple itself exist. Folks, even if you've never been to Israel, our Watchman team aims to bring a little piece of the Holy Land into your living room each week. 
Well, up next, 2019 was a chaotic year. So what does 2020 have in store for Israel and America? And how will it affect you? Stay tuned to find out and fasten your seatbelt.